Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna actually be talking about food plots. Um, it's a gorgeous day today. Uh, the really cool thing is, is we're getting that itch. It's, uh, deer season's just right around the corner and I'm very grateful to have here with me uh, MDC's Seth Berrios. He's gonna tell us all we need to know about planning that food plot and how to prepare for it. Let me turn this around right now. All right, hey. Good, good morning, Seth. How are things today? Things are going great. It's a beautiful day out here. What a great day to have uh, and uh, be talking about food plots for this upcoming hunting season. All right, so Seth, we're on private property today and deer season's around the corner, kind of getting that itch, you know, um, being seeing those really cool mornings we really like. Tell us, you know, how do we prepare to get a food plot as we're, I see the food plot starting behind you. So. Just kick us off, tell, tell us a little bit about food plots and their benefits and how you go by starting and getting a food plot and all that fun. Yeah, so a food plot, when we think about for food plots in a hunting situation, um, we wanna choose locations that um, allow for us to get into that stand location without spooking deer, but also have it be a good enough soil that we're not having a lot of erosion being on a hillside, um, or maybe it's gonna be in really bottom ground where it's gonna be really wet and potentially you know, flood out uh, your food plots. And so we wanna find those locations and after we do, um, the best thing to do is to make sure that they're open enough that they have plenty of ample sunlight like we have here. They also uh, need to be tested for uh, soil requirements, uh, for lime, for fertilizer. Your local MFA or MU extension offices can generally help with that. There are over-the-counter stuff that you can buy through uh, like Biologic and, and other websites, but get the soil samples. Know what you need to have because that is critical to ensuring that the seed, the expensive seed that you're putting down has the best chance of growth and can maximize growth. Um, after we do that, you know, you're going to want to till the soil or do some kind of a uh, management to expose. Now, you could use a no-till drill, which is a fantastic option when it's, when it's uh, available. Here in this food plot, we tilled it. Uh, that mainly because we could not get a no-till drill in here, and the typical throw-and-grow style seeds just weren't going to be applicable. What we've planted in here, and this food plot is only one week old, um, we have planted winter wheat and crimson clover. Here you see the winter wheat and then the crimson clover is starting to come in. The reason we chose winter wheat and crimson clover is because this is a food plot for hunting purposes. We're not expecting this food plot to uh, provide full, uh, food source for all the deer and turkey in the area. This is only supplemental. We've done a lot of TSI on the hill. We have an old field over here to, our, uh, to my left. And so this is strictly hunting. But the winter wheat will provide a great forage uh, source throughout the fall and into the winter. And then, then again in the springtime, when it sets seed, it will provide um, seed for both some deer um, and for the uh, turkeys. The crimson clover, on the other hand, it will grow this fall, the deer will eat it. Where we're, what we're looking for is for our next spring, the crimson will come up, it'll be in full bloom, providing a lot of uh, seed, but also uh, bugging habitat for turkeys. And then this will optimize our hunting in this spot for turkeys come springtime. So tell us, Seth, a, you know, dry year here in central Missouri and throughout the state, the drought gonna have a big effect on planning now or how's it work? Yeah, the drought, I mean, you know, just like like row crop farmers around the, uh, Missouri are experiencing a very hard times right now, food plots are gonna be the same. If we don't have the rain, the food plots just aren't gonna grow. So what I would recommend is, you know, try to um, keep the soil as disturbed as less as least as you can. Now again, we, we disc this because we had to. And if you do, the best thing to do is try to get something to grow that and establish quickly to cover up uh, and keep as much moisture in the soil as you can. If it doesn't grow, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, if you have other habitat management that you've done, there could be a food source. You can maybe key in on uh, oak production, acorn production um, that mm -hmm. has occurred. And the other thing that you can do is, is, again, what we've done, find those fast growing species, winter wheat. 
So that way, if we start to pick up some uh, mo soil moisture here as we progress into mm -hmm. uh, into the fall, you have a best, better chance of establishing and establishing quickly. So, Seth, where, uh, where can viewers get more information if they're wanting to plant a food plot uh, on their property? Where can they go? Well, they can go to, to the Missouri Department of Conservation website. We have some information there on, on food plots. Um, you know, there, there's lots of different websites out there on planting food plots um, and, and other opportunities to really describe. Um, you know, there's no one cookie cutter approach uh, to putting and establishing a food plot. But if you are interested in a food plot and thinking about where you should plant it and maybe how to go about it, contact our local private land conservationist and they can help you with that. All right. I really appreciate it, Seth. Thank you very much. And thank you all again for tuning in today. And I'm going to echo what he said. If you want to learn more about um, planting, you know, planting and putting out your food plots and so much more, get on our website at mdc.mo.gov and search in the box up there, food plots, and you can find all the information you can. Thanks, and have a great rest of the day.